Hey everybody, it's PJ and the puppies. We are having puppy playtime right now. Some of them are playing and nibbling on each other, and some of them are playing and nibbling on me. Apparently, shoelaces and shoes are a fun thing to to nibble on, as are as our fingers, and not to mention hair and sweatshirts. So the puppies are definitely getting getting their teeth and teething. Well, not playing and playing and whatnot anyway. Phoebes is going to town on my sweatshirt. They are having so much fun. Trying to get my hair? Who's growling? Who's growling? Rachel, are you winning? <laughs> this is one of the reasons why I, I, I wait till little puppies are about six weeks old for their new owners to pick them out because they're just, they, they change so much. Uh, uh. You know, Rachel being the youngest and the small, the smallest, sometimes can have end up with a puppy that's, you know, the most shy of all of them. Sometimes they get to be the scrappiest of all of them. Sometimes they go back and forth between it, and we don't know which way they're gonna go. So the. Um, I did want to mention that our new puppy pads are in and being washed because these um, are much dirtier than I wanted. Uh, they ended up being delayed a day. Um, and so so if it looks to you like this carpet is dirty and needs to be replaced, it does. And as soon as the brand new one, because you have to wash it first, is washed and dried, it will be in here and replaced. I did want to point that out. We are just hanging out, having fun, aren't we, puppies? Um, it has been, people uh, keep wanting to know when the puppies are going to go outside. And that, the answer to that is when I think it is safe for them. Um, you know, one of the things you have to be very careful with puppies is obviously that they stay healthy and don't get sick. And um, we have had non-stop rain. And it is um, very rainy out. And so, um, because we have other animals, we always uh, keep a very close eye on worms and parasites and coccidia and things like that, because that can um, that can affect their growth and their health. And so, I am not in any rush to get them out on the grass. Uh, um, they go to the vet when they're six weeks old, and they'll get their um, their. Uh, their three-day warming then and um, and whatnot so um, so we'll see I may take them out in the driveway and stuff sooner but um, since we have animals over I'm not in any rush to get them to get them out where are you going Is Chandler going to take a nap you're gonna go find the potty you gotta get actually in the potty yeah, I know. It looks like people have potty there. Somebody moved the potty. You want to go in the potty? All right, hold on. Let me see if he wants to go potty. Oh, you gotta get off my shoe, Phoebs. You wanna go potty? Come here. No, you just felt like the one over there. Oh, let me sit back down. You're in my way, Joey. Okay. You have to be very careful not to squash puppies when you're sitting down. Okay, now you can go back to work to chewing on my shoes. Where are your toys? All your toys are at. <laughs> Look at that face. Look at that face. I love you, Chandler.
You get him. You get him, Chandler. I got you. I think Jade took the toys out, but I gotta get another toy in here. I gotta get some more toys in here. Who <gasps> just coughed? What was that? Babies. So we put together, um, I haven't showed you guys yet, but we put together the uh, lumber list for the new fence because we're putting the dogs, the adult dogs, not the puppies, but the adult dogs in a new um, in a new area, I guess. Um, <laughs> eating my pocket. Who needs toys when we have shoes? Maybe I should. No, that would be actually a very bad thing to do to throw a shoe in here. <laughs> Their future owners would be so mad at me <laughs> if I gave them a shoe to play with. <laughs> that would be a very bad toy. <laughs> Whether it's children or puppies or goats or whatever, I'm a big believer in <laughs> begin with the end in mind and teaching <laughs> them to chew on shoes would not be good. Would it, Monica? Would it, baby girl? Are you jealous, Rachel? I love you too. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's eating my armpit. <laughs> Chandler. <laughs> oh, Jim is calling me. If he doesn't figure out that I'm on Facebook Live soon. Actually, it might be Jade calling. The, uh, the puppy pads just arrived. I sent her up to go get it and get it. Um, uh, get the first one started washing. Um, some Sarah asks, at what age are they ready to go to their new homes? Um, we like eight weeks. Um, I, I, you know, if there was like a really compelling reason to make seven and a half weeks happen, I would be persuaded. But I think eight weeks is really important for um, their time with their siblings. I think they're still developing at that point. Um, one of the things that's really important with puppies um, is to teach them to have what's called a soft mouth. And what a soft mouth means is that they know how much pressure to exert when they're mouthing things, so when they're biting or chewing. And um, a soft mouth is most easily taught by siblings. Um, that is the way because puppies will naturally tell each other when they're hurting each other. Um, and so for, for dog, puppies and dogs to learn how not to, um, not to bite too hard is important. And you can teach that to a dog if they get separated, you know, from, from their, the litter too early, but it is best learned with, with siblings. And so that's why we really don't like them to go before eight weeks, um, there's, you know, obvious reasons you want them to have a soft mouth, but think of it like this. So, a <laughs> whoa, what was that sound? What are you cutting at? <laughs> um, think of it this way. Let's say, you... oh, why aren't you so tough? Why aren't you just so tough? You're a tough guy. Um, let's say you have a, uh, a dog and um, your child 
uh, accidentally falls on top of the dog or steps on the dog or knocks something over on the dog. Um, a dog that has a soft mouth, even if out of you know, even if that dog startles and and, and starts to bite your child because they're just they got scared something fell on its head and that was just you know their reaction um a dog with a soft mouth isn't going to break the skin isn't going to harm now obviously you don't want them to to mouth your your kid at all but sometimes they're just you know if, if one's completely scared um you can do that and so so them having that control is is really important and um that's one of the reasons why why we like to wait to at least eight weeks um and and before 12. <laughs> <laughs> Joey, you're cracking me up. <laughs> Hi. Oh, I didn't do that. Um. Okay. Sure. All right. You guys got about ten more, fifteen more minutes of puppy watching, and then I gotta talk to Graydon. Can you call Dad's phone back? He called me twice. I think it might have been Jade. Sharon just ordered soap. Awesome. Somebody is finding and practicing his voice. Those are some pretty fun sounds there. Hey, Mom says that your phone called her twice. Fingers and never heard of there. It's just it's just puppy pads, um, designed. You know, I mean, I'm sure they use them for a lot of different, but it's just got so it doesn't um, the backing so it doesn't slide all over the place and it's absorbent so that it can. Okay, thank you. Yay, Melanie loves her T-shirt. Uh, Sanis has never heard of Puppy Litter. Where did you find it? You can get it in any of the pet stores. Amazon carries it as well. But um, I, this is our first experience using it. Uh, I talked to several breeders who use it, and they have really good experiences with it. And it makes it easier for um, people who are uh, their new owners because if they learn to go in this, then you can... Um, have that set up in their in their new homes and they can potty on that and then when you're transitioning them to outside you put it outside and you don't have to use the little the little bucket like we have but you put that stuff outside and you can teach them where you want them to go to the potty outside so it makes it it makes it easier um, for cleanup how do I tell them apart I tell them apart by the whites on the back of their necks is how I tell them apart um, so Chandler's white is uh, wider and goes straight up the back of his head as opposed to Joey's whose is off to the side a little bit and much more uh, lopsided. It's thicker on one side and thinner on the other. Um, Monica's goes off to the left, Rachel's goes off to the right, and Phoebe's goes straight up through the center with a little spot. Um, they're also different colors. The, the two boys are darker in color and um, Rachel and sunlight oh. is a little bit uh, redder. It's not so much right now, but um, you know. And then eventually they uh, they start to um, you can start to tell by their their faces and their um, and their attitudes. So quite honestly, you guys all falling asleep. Um, I still have a, a one female left from this litter. I still have one female left. Lots of people love their play growling. We're in Scottsburg, Indiana, which is about half an hour north of Louisville, Kentucky, so the southeast end. Um, Beckett's ultrasound is not until June 18th, so we won't know about that until June 18th. What kind of shoes do I have on? Just regular sneakers. <laughs> my 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 ultra colorful ones that were on sale, which is why I have such colorful sneakers. Uh, this one's Phoebe here. <laughs> yeah, she's the one. 
snuffling and making noises. You guys done playing with me? Uh, is it possible to give you weights? Yeah, I'll give you weights when I get up. Alright. Oh, I got to play. I didn't quite get to snuggle as much with everybody. I like to flop them around like lap wrap. <laughs> like rag dolls. Get them used to different positions. Playing with their feet, playing with their tails, playing with their teeth. You want them to be comfortable. Um, one thing I don't do, so like a lot of people will, will recommend um, when their puppies turning them upside down like this to cut their nails. Um, I actually don't do that because when they are, you know, 75 to 100 pound dogs, um, you're not going to turn them upside down to do their nails. And so when it's something as specific like that, um, I like to do it in the position that you're going to do it as an adult. And so, so yeah, it's a little bit easier to do it when they're, when they're puppies that way. But uh, I always kind of like to think about what behavior you're going to have when they're adults. This is so sweet. Oh my god, girl. Yes, you are. Um, have any hit six pounds yet? So let me think. Nine, twenty six yes, they have hit uh I think they've hit six pounds. I'll have to go look in a minute. <laughs> she is just arching backwards. Aren't ya? So everybody's up, they run, they play, they go back down, they sleep. Just like good babies should. Right? Right. Okay. Come here, Phoebe, your turn. Oh, big girl. Big girl. Show everybody how pretty you are. <laughs> You can go back to sleep. You don't have to wake up now, Monica. They're just all so, so sweet. They're just such good puppies. Not a rotten one in the bunch. They're all doing really, really well. Um, walking. They're even getting better on the on the more slippery floor where they do their goat milk. <laughs> oh, I love you too. Come on, Rach, your turn. <laughs> One of them was chewing on that board yesterday. It was not, it wasn't super thrilled with that I'm not I just we have that the I told Graydon to make sure they uh use the non-toxic polyurethane but still when they chew that up it makes it easier for you just always want to keep things as clean as possible with puppies um I haven't shown you but you know we wiped down this wood all right Graydon's back to talk to me so I'm going to sign off, finish, finish snuggling them one on one. Hope you guys all have a good afternoon and you say goodbye. You say goodbye. All right. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye. Oh, you know what someone asked about their weights? Um, they are on the website. If you go to gmsdogs.com, and then in the top, you'll see the page for Lacey's Litter. Each of their weights are on their pages, so you can look at their weights um, day by day right in there. So I didn't get a chance to show you that, so I'm sorry, but um, that's where you can find that. All right. Bye, guys.